for number three, we have two long straight wires are parallel and 9.9 .9 centimeters apart. They are to carry equal currents such that the magnetic field at a point halfway between them has the magnitude 330 microteslas. Should the currents be in the same or opposite direction? If we first draw our wires, we have the top one and the bottom one. They are at the distance of 9.9 .9 centimeters apart. And inside of them, they have the magnitude of 330 microteslas. Since the currents are equal and we have a magnitude of 330 microteslas, the currents need to be in opposite directions. So we have one going this way and one going this way. If we were to have this, but the currents were going in the same direction, our magnitude would not be 330 microteslas, it would just be zero. We would say that our currents will be in the opposite direction. For part B, we are asked how much current is needed. To find current, we need to use the formula that involves magnitude. This formula for an infinite wire is that B is equal to u naught times the current I over 2 pi R. Since we have two wires in here, we can multiply this by two. And then after we do that, we can cancel out our twos. So then we are just going to be left with B is equal to u naught times I over pi R. We know that we need to find our current I so we need to rewrite this so that i is by itself. When we do this, we're going to get b times pi r over u naught is equal to i. Now we can start plugging in our values. First, we are putting in our b, the magnetic field, and we are given 330 microteslas. We need to convert this into teslas. So we're going to have 330 times 10 to the negative 6 teslas. We're multiplying this by pi, and then our r. Our r, we're given d, but the r value is going to be in the center. This is r. We only need from part of the wire to the middle part between the two wires. So this is going to be the distance divided by 2, or the diameter divided by 2. And if we look at the diameter that we're given, we're given 9.9 .9 centimeters. This divided by 2 is just going to give us approximately 4.95 centimeters. So we are multiplying this by 4.95 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. This is all going to be over our constant u naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meters per amp. This will give us an i that is approximately 41 amps. And that is the answer for number three.